Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now I'm going to tell you from the start that I've just been into the office and they've said there is no memorial plaque here or no memorial bench or anything for Reg Presley, otherwise known as, also known as his real name, Reg Ball. Um, he was cremated here at Basingstoke Crematorium. But as there's no memorial plaque, I just want to show you how beautiful it is here. It's always great to show these places off, isn't it? Um, and even though there's no memorial plaque, no memorial bench, um, that's what the office just said, but someone did get in contact with me and say that there is something here. However, um, you never know with the offices. You go in there and they look at you and they're like, hmm, who are you? young hooglan you know what i mean um so i just literally walked in there said that i was here to visit um a memorial stone or plaque um and that whilst i'm here i was led to believe that reg presley's memorial plaque was here straight away no they knew straight away um so <laughs> You know, it might, it might be true. It might be true. It might be a case of it's not here. There's no cremations going on at the moment, so I'm just walking freely through the um, Garden of Remembrance. But I just wanted to tell you that at the start, okay? What I will do is I'll, I'll still keep the video coming out, and I will tell you about Reg and his life and all the rest of it. Um, and I'll just show you some of the gardens and that sort. It's just, so it's just a nice little day out. It's a nice little video out, okay? But at least you can see where people that are cremated in Basingstoke can have their ashes laid to rest or buried. So it's a good bit of publicity for the, the place, if anything, because it shows how beautiful it is. Um, and I can see lots of reserved spots and things like that, which is great. And it looks lovely, so it's fantastic. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more now about Reg and I'll show you some of the gardens as we go around. Reginald Maurice Ball, 12th of June 1941 to the 4th of February 2013, known professionally as Reg Presley, was an English singer and songwriter. He was a lead singer with the 1960s rock and roll band The Trogs, whose hits include Wild Thing, number one on the Hot 100, 30th of July, 6th of August 1966, and With a Girl Like You, number one on the UK Singles Chart, the 4th to the 11th of August 1966. Presley, whose stage name was given to him in 1965 by the new Musical Express journalist and publicist Keith Altham, was born in Andover, Hampshire. He joined the building trade on leaving school and became a bricklayer. He kept at this occupation until Wild Thing reached number 10 on the UK singles chart in 1966. It reached number 2 in the UK and number 1 in the US, selling 5 million copies. Presley wrote hits with a girl like you, I Can't Control Myself, and Love Is All Around, Wet Wet Wet's 1994 cover of the latter song stayed at number one in the UK singles charts for 15 weeks. Presley used his royalties from that cover to fund research on subjects such as alien spacecraft, lost civilizations, alchemy, and crop circles, and outlined his findings in the book Wild Things They Don't Tell Us, published in October 2002. Presley's music has influenced Iggy Pop and won praise from Bob Dylan, the rock critic Lester Bangs called the Trogs the godfathers of punk and compared Presley to Marcel Proust. Presley appears as a character in Steve Erickson's novel These Dreams of You, 2012. In December 2011, Presley was hospitalised in Winchester, Hampshire with what was suspected to be a stroke. He was also suffering with pneumonia and fluid around the heart. He had suffered a major stroke a year before his wife said he first began to feel ill while performing in Germany on the 3rd of December 2011 and had got progressively worse. Doctors think he had another stroke, he's not very well and I have no idea how long he'll be in hospital, she said. The following month, Presley announced he had been diagnosed with lung cancer and therefore decided to retire from the music industry. Just over a year later, on 4th of February 2013, Presley died from this cancer and according to Alvin, a succession of recent strokes, Presley was cremated at Basingstoke Crematorium, Hampshire. A blue plaque in his memory was unveiled in Andover High Street on the 30th of July 2016, marking where the Trogs used to rehearse.
So there you go everyone, all the information there on Reg. Um, this place is a beautiful little place, you know. I, I personally want to be buried, but if I was going to be cremated, a little garden like that, it's beautiful. You've got all these little streams and ponds and bridges and the ducks are running wild and crazy. Um, and there's like a nice bit of nature here. And you know me, I'm a bit of an old hippie when it comes to nature, I love it. A bit of open air, grass, not that sort of grass, you know, grass. Um, and it's just relaxing, it's just so chilled. It just feels so great, look. Yeah, so if, if you're someone that is gonna be cremated, then these sort of places are just beautiful. You know, beautiful for the family to come and visit. Like some people just take the ashes home and leave them on the shelf. I, I know that's different people have different ways of dealing with bereavement. I completely get that. Um, but <laughs> honestly, would you want to be sat on someone's shelf? I wouldn't. If I was cremated, I'd want to be somewhere like here. Chilled, peaceful, calm, relaxed. I know you don't know about it, you know, your ashes, but personal preference that would be mine um, you know everyone has to have their own personal preference which is good but this place lovely anyway sorry I couldn't actually bring you a memorial plaque but like I say um, as soon as I went in there sometimes you can you know you know how to read the room and I just got the barriers feeling straight away but they were polite they were nice they weren't horrible nasty or anything like that um but i just got the feeling they didn't want to tell me anything but you know but sometimes you come to these places and you know the family might say please don't tell anyone where the plaque is if they have one um and the office staff might have just been saying that they, there isn't one because there isn't one you know it's just the way it is sometimes but I wanted to show you guys how beautiful Basingstoke crematorium is and the gardens are amazing you know um, just lovely and you just hear little bells ringing and the ducks obviously in the pond and things like that um, yeah so great stuff lovely place sorry I couldn't bring you a memorial plaque um, but we tried and that's all that matters and at the end of the day as long as I take the start whether there is or isn't one then um, you know at least you know whether it's worth your time watching the video or not hope you enjoyed it anyway got to see a little bit of uh, this beautiful place and uh, leave your comments down below were you a big fan of the trogs um, you know because it's always good to just have a little chat about that um, and if you've been here and you are aware that there's a, a plaque somewhere please leave that in the comments let me know maybe put a picture on the Facebook group or the um, Instagram group for those of you that are unaware if you do have Instagram or Facebook um, you know we do have groups the links you can find anywhere basically so just um, come and join it because we always have a chat people put pictures up and things like that um, and it's great really lovely little place anyway leaky eye hey Viva see you all on the next one take it easy Tell